But we started meeting day after day, and perhaps more important than the fact that the women led the way was the fact that it was truly bipartisan. We had seven Republicans, six Democrats, and my independent colleague from Maine, Angus King, and yeah. not a member of leadership, which I think might have been significant it, it, also. In fact, leadership kind of came in and swooped in and well, changed it, it all at the end. I, I, mean, I don't I, want to revisit it all, but we, it no, was, Yeah, we yeah, don't want to revisit the whole thing. Yeah. But the point was is that oh, we less. came together, <laughs> and the basic framework that we agreed yes. on was basically what they did. We would have done a few things differently. There would have been some nice add-ons, if I do say so. But um, we were ready to announce our agreement, and uh, they uh, worked with us. It wasn't, we were talking to them, so it wasn't like we were off on our own. But I think the bigger thing is just on this issue of the women and the leadership. Um, there's our group, but there also is the fact that uh, Susan led the way on the postal reform bill, still in the Senate that passed. Uh, Debbie Stabenow uh, is leading the farm bill on the Senate side, and remember that passed the Senate with big bipartisan support. Barbara Boxer was somehow able to get uh, with Senator Inhofe and work out an agreement um, on the transportation bill, and then with Senator Vitter um, on the uh, Water Resources Development Act. Patty Murray and Barbara Mikulski are leading the way um, on those uh, negotiations going forward. So the women in the Senate, while we're only 20% of the Senate, uh, we have an outsized role when it comes to um, some of these chairmanships and other things. I guess it's because we keep getting elected. Uh, okay. And to uh, sit in the chairman's, I'm chair of the Joint Economic Committee on the Senate side, so I get to go to these chairman's lunches. and. Um, to see all the women in leadership roles, it makes a big difference. And what Susan said is true. Uh, you look at the Violence Against Women Act, um, the women in the Senate, every single one of us voted for that bill. And that is what really broke the dam so that the House then really adopted some of the provisions in the Senate bill that were important to protect tribal women and other things. So uh, this has been happening time and time again uh, where uh, things are going pretty bad and the women are able to step in. And I hope we see more and more of it in the future. And I especially hope we see it on some of these judge confirmations going forward. You know, forward. we're not letting uh, poor John yeah. speak here. <laughs> You know, it, just one quick comment on that. Uh, Amy raises a really important point, that there's a critical mass of women in the Senate now, but also women are in key leadership roles. Back in 2003, when I was chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, I was the only woman right. who was chair of a major committee. This is a sea change. And by the way, there are no uh, women chairman uh, chair in, in the House, right? I mean, the House is. is I don't know the I, answer. I, I, to that. I, I believe that is the case. So we're, we're almost out of time. But, but how, how much of this? Because obviously, the, the 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 so much of what's behind the distaste with Congress and frankly with Washington generally is just that the, the two sides just can't seem to get anything done. Can't work with each other. It's, it's what you described. We tune in. We watch. You know, the blame back and forth, and no effort at a solution. So given the progress, the clear progress that women, that some of you women of the Senate have been able to do, how much of it is because there are more moderates like yourself or the fact that, you know, you actually spend time together, these dinners? I, I mean, does, I does that make that a difference? I think that this uh, trust relationship where I have where we know each other uh, yeah. and we know, uh, you know, where we can find common ground and where we can't, it's like how Washington used to run. People actually knew about each other, they cared about each other, and I think that makes a major difference. I also think a lot of women that have gotten elected uh, we can't really get there by, you know, walking around in a flight suit, <laughs> and so some of us have actually, but for the most part, it's a focus on results. When I was running for prosecutor my first time, I would obsessively look at Janet Napolitano's website in Arizona, even though she'd never met me, didn't know who I was, because she was focused on results. She would show what she promised and what happened. And someone once said that women candidates, um, and I don't agree with the first part, they said they speak softly and carry a big statistic, um, and I don't think we speak softly, but I do think we're more focused on those numbers and accountability and results, and I think that uh, makes a big difference, and I'm very hopeful as we add more women uh, to the Senate, and we have some opportunities in this next election, uh, that the culture can change. We did have, for the first time in the history of the United States of America, a traffic jam in the women's senator's bathroom last fall. <laughs> it was a first, and we want to see more of that. So that is this just basic idea that you get people in there that like each other. Actually, you can get things done instead of standing in the opposite corner of the boxing ring throwing punches. Uh, you find 
finally realize that courage isn't just that. Courage is standing next to someone you don't always agree with for the betterment of this country. You know, I want to stress uh, Amy's very last point, and that is women span the ideological spectrum just as men do. We don't think alike. We don't have the same positions on, on various issues. But where I see a difference is the women of the Senate are more likely to collaborate and to realize that we can disagree on an issue but still seek common ground. And that's what's changed in the years that I've been in Washington. There's been a reluctance to try to sit down, find out what's most important to the other side, and seek common ground. It used to be that those of us in the middle who sought compromise were lauded for our efforts. Now we're vilified by both the far left and the by far By some of your right. own colleagues, right? I mean, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, just in the, in the last minute or so we have left, I've got to ask you the, 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 the big question when it comes to women leadership. Hillary Clinton, you, you Democratic senators, Democratic women senators, all signed to this highly secret uh, letter that we all know about. <laughs> Nothing uh, secret in uh, Washington. In, in encouraging uh, Hillary to run for president. Um, how hard was it to get Elizabeth Warren's signature on that, uh, on that letter? <laughs> I, I don't think it was very hard. I think uh, uh, people are very excited about the possibility of her running. Um, and uh, so it was Which no one? surprise that <laughs> we all signed the letter, including Elizabeth, uh, asking Hillary to run. So is this going to be just uh, she, uh, by acclamation, the Democratic primary? I mean, it seems like every, I mean, w w it, as long as Joe Biden doesn't Not get a vote. Not if you have that's a, a way about it, because <laughs> it, it doesn't make good news coverage, huh? But uh, I, uh, I, I can't, I don't have a crystal ball on that, but there's clearly growing support for her. I just did the Arizona Democratic dinner on uh, Saturday night, and I've been around the country doing a lot of these things, and there's a lot of support, positive support for her. And if she doesn't run, Amy Klobuchar runs for president. No, I'll be working with Susan Collins on many bipartisan <laughs> solutions. In the you Senate. noticed that was not a denial, right? I did. Okay, excellent. Uh, you noticed uh, she's traveling all over the country. <laughs> did you get that? Did you pick that up? Hey, uh, a bigger margin than Chris Christie. All right, thank you very much, thank Amy Klobuchar, Susan Collins. Thank you. So Amy and Susan, can I get invited to one of your suppers? <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. We got you out of 4.30. Bye. Bye, Susan. Great to see you. Uh,